Hi everybody, Nicole here from Hair of the Dog. I wanted to record a quick edit for you. I thought you might enjoy seeing this image brought through to completion. So this is an image that I captured in Mark Zealand. This is the raw image. You can see I purposely underexposed the dog a little bit because I wanted to retain some detail in that sky. So let's get started with editing, shall we? First, I'm in the develop module of Lightroom. This is where I do all of my heavy editing. Um, that's not pixel based. So leash removals and that kind of stuff I still always take into Photoshop, but the vast majority of my editing happens right here in Lightroom. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna work on this basic panel over here in the develop module. And the first thing I'm gonna do is pull up those shadows. And then I might pull those highlights down a little bit, pull the whites up just a touch, and then the blacks. This is looking a little cool to me, so we're gonna go ahead and warm it up a touch. There we go, that white balance look, looks good on the dog. I'm gonna bump up the clarity. I'm um, also gonna bump up the vibrance. I might come down here to the tone curve. I do find sometimes the tone curve affects the lights and darks just a little bit differently. So I may pull up the shadows a little bit more, or the darks and the shadows. Sometimes I just have to play with it and see which one I like a little bit more. I think I like pulling the shadows up a little bit here. And then I'm going to pull the darks down a touch just to keep the contrast. Because if you pull up all the shadows and you pull up the um, pull down the highlights and everything, you're really just starting to lose a lot of the contrast in the image, which I don't want to do that. I want to keep some nice contrast, but I wanted to brighten things up a little bit on that dog. All right, so our dog's looking pretty good. Um, it's time to save that sky. I might actually pull that exposure up just a touch. That's too much. There we go. Just point one. All right, so let's jump up to the sky. We're going to go ahead and click on the graduated filter adjustment brush up here, and we're just going to pull that down. We're going to double click the effect to clear it all. And then I'm going to choose Range Mask Luminance. So what this is going to do, I'll pick my little eyedropper. And I'm just going to click right up there and anywhere in the sky. And I'm going to click Show Luminance Mask. There it is. You can see it's selected pretty much the whole sky. This works really well in this particular case because that sky is really the same brightness or the same luminance. So by clicking that luminance mask, I'm not going to pull any of these um, adjustments that I'm going to make down onto the water or onto the dog. So that's great. We're going to unclick that show luminance mask so I can start working on it. And I'm going to pull down the temperature of that sky just to make it a little bit more blue. And then I'm also going to pull the highlights down on the sky. And I'm going to probably pull the clarity down a touch and the dehaze up a little bit. Now dehaze, look at this. You can get really crazy. Be really careful. Dehaze is best used as just a little touch. And then you can t check on that clarity. I'm pulling that down a little bit. Um, my highlights I might have pulled down a little too much. Same thing with that blue sky. You just don't want to overdo it. You want to make sure it still looks natural. Okay, we're still looking at the sky and I might just pull the exposure down just a touch on that sky. All right, that's looking good. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit done. Now, sky looks great, my dog looks great. The water looks fairly nice and blue. I'm just gonna go ahead and straighten it now because I hadn't done that yet. So we're just gonna line up that line across the horizon. There we go. All right, and then I want this wood to be a little bit warmer. It looks pretty cool to me, but I don't wanna warm up the whole scene because I'm gonna lose some of that blue in the sky and I'm gonna lose some of the blue in the water. So I'm gonna go ahead and do just a regular adjustment brush. You can double click on effects to make sure that it goes back to normal. And I'm just gonna pull that temperature up on the yellow a little bit. I'm gonna make my brush a little bit bigger. And I'm gonna make sure auto mask is checked right down here. And it is because that way, as I brush it on, it will stay on the deck. I'm just going to brush that on a little bit. And you can make it, you know, whatever um, amount you want right now. Don't worry about it because we can adjust after we paint on where we want this adjustment. It's very easy to change that adjustment. 
All right, so there we go. That's looking pretty good. My computer's thinking. We'll just pull that down a little bit to see. And then bring it up to taste right about there. No, and I don't want to bring the shadows up. Double click on shadows or whichever one you adjusted if you want to take it back to zero. And I think this image looks pretty good. Here's where we started. And there's where we ended. I hope you enjoyed that.